Stop right there. Authorized personnel only. What happened here? Jude! I didn't realize it was you. Oh, well, you see... Damn it. Someone really did a number on the security system. No way I can fix this by my... It's Alvin! Well, if it isn't the honors student. Great timing. Exodus has hijacked the facility security system? Yeah, which trapped a bunch of Riza, Maxi, and Goodwill Ambassadors. Balin was showing him around, so he's there too. Balin, we have to save him! You'll give us a hand? Yes, we have some business with Balin. Luger, was it? You know, this is all more of Exodus's handiwork. I used to count myself among their members. Still want to trust me? <laughs> you really are one of Jude's friends, aren't you? What about you, Alvin? Aren't you one of Jude's friends? Tough to say. Yes, he is. And he knows it. Well, he seems pretty sketchy to me. Kid's got a good head on her shoulders. Let's break this down. Where are Balin and the tour group being held captive? Up on the development wing. The weather's getting nasty. Let's get this done ASAP. Delighted to make your acquaintance, little lady. I'm not little. that was served up to your liking? Careful, they're packing a lot of firepower. Yeah, cover me. I can't move. Hey, not too shabby there. Maybe you didn't need me after all. Thank you. 
How many bullets do these bastards have? It sucks being the only good guy who can shoot back, you know? Looks like I'm bailing you guys out in the nick of time! That guy again? You call that a hero's welcome? I even brought you guys these wonderful toys. I thought the safeties were on. <sighs> As you probably figured out, these beauties are way unpredictable, so be careful where you point them. Look who's talking. Now for some target practice. Shoot first and ask questions later. Because we are going to have a blast. Really? Huh? You get it? A blast. Like from a gun. You don't need to explain. Bubble blast. Bubble blast. Bubble blast. <laughs> Smooth moves, Luger. <laughs> Maybe even smooth enough to get your debt paid. <laughs> you got instructed. I guess you don't have questions. You're just lucky it was me. Anyone else would be dead by now. You okay there, Ivor? <laughs> Better than some phony who keeps sticking his nose into everyone's business. <sighs> Mr. Handmaid's as charming as ever. Pump! <laughs> Gotta focus! Super easy. Easy. Ease. You copying me? Maybe. Not yet! Palm strike! Tiger blade! Charge! Tiger destroy! Tiger blade! Okay! Well, not bad. Now I have the strength to protect. Where is this Balin guy anyway? If I were Balin, where would I slink off to hide? Hostiles! I won't hold back. <laughs> Gotta keep moving, one step at a time. Man, I feel good. Time to copy them! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the strongest salesman in the world. Hmm, comes off too strong. If I must. And boom! Not yet! Healer! Sorry about that. Guess who just got stronger? So those Goodwill Ambassadors were actually... Yeah, my classmates and I were picked to represent Risa Maxia. Huh. Meet Elise and Tipo. right now. Luger is one smooth talker. So Jude, are these friends of yours? <laughs> hey there, how you doing? Back off. Oh, Chipo's not gonna hurt you. Play nice, okay? Okay. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh. <sighs> Elise. What happened to your friends from school? We all got attacked real sudden-like. Good thing I brought Tipo along today. Elise was so brave, she got all her classmates into a room that was safe. But what about Balin? He got all the bad guys to chase after him, so the rest of us could run and hide. I bet you he's still on top of the development wing. Yeah, so I came down here to call for help. Can you lead us? Of course. 
What's the matter, El? Are you afraid of thunder? No, as if. <laughs> Did you feel that? There's no need to be afraid. I mean, because... I'm not afraid! Thunder is just a great spirit going bowling! Um, that's the wrong way. I, I knew that. Please keep them away. <laughs> Chibo can turn into a backpack. Yep. <clears throat> hey, I got my own backpack too. What's inside of it? Pretty stones I found. <laughs> Hey, you sent something weird? Yeah. These Exodus dolts just won't give up. <sighs> They're causing trouble all over the place. I thought they just wanted to go home. Now that they're back, why are they still fighting? A lot of them found they didn't have a home to return to. That's a hard pill to swallow. So they put it all on Rezamaxia and the peace-seeking government of Olympias. Sometimes it's easier to blame others than to move forward yourself. And that's not all. Exodus has been recruiting heavily from a new generation of disaffected Olympians. Olympias is a nation in decline. There's no shortage of discontent for Exodus to mine. The collision with Rizamaxia just gave the disaffected a new direction in which to focus their anger. You make it sound so hopeless. Don't get me wrong. 
I don't intend to sit by and let this continue. Thanks to all of you, I finally made it back to my home. I'm sure as hell not going to let these idiots ruin it. Alvin, you've changed. You're moving forward. With a little help from my friends. Okay. Well, if there's one thing Balin's good at, it's looking out for Balin. the boys at school catch your eye? If they did, I certainly wouldn't tell you. Protect. Guess who just got stronger? So they recreated it? But we can't even control it. <laughs> Watch out, Evan. It's totally run. out of control. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs>
volunteers to be your guinea pig. What? Thanks, everyone. Spreading contamination? Control to me during a thunderstorm. Don't tell anyone, but I think thunderstorms are scary too. The air gets all tingly and weird, right? Yeah. But how in the world did they gather the resources to recreate the Spyrite Vault? Balin would know. Let's head back to the roof. So what the hell's going on here, Doc? I don't know, but something is definitely not right.
Coming here sure brings back memories from a year ago, huh? Yeah. All sorts of memories. Can't say I remember that part of our journey too fondly. You know what it means when you reminisce too much. They say it's the first sign you're getting old. What? Where did you hear that? I can't divulge my sources. The past is past. Now is now. Get over it and move on. Remember when Elise used to be so reserved? They always say that girls mature faster, but... Yeesh. really weird. Does anyone know what just happened? Nobody's out here. All clear, Balin. Come on out. Impressive, Alfred. How did you know where I was? Your hiding spots haven't changed since we were kids. We never even considered recreating Volt, much less tried to actually pull it off. Honestly, we're still having trouble controlling spy rights at all. We'd be insane to try tackling a great spirit. Hmm. The tingly guy really was here, right? Yeah. What the hell was it then? <laughs> Julius, huh? What are you, a cop or something? No. Luger is Julius's little brother. I never knew the guy had a brother, big or little. Well, now that you mention it, he does kind of put off that big brother vibe. So, what can you tell us about this Julius guy? I don't know. He really loves tomatoes? Balin. Sorry. Look, I haven't seen the guy in six months. I was shocked as anyone when I heard about the train hijacking. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Like to Canaan, maybe? Canaan, huh? I think he mentioned the place, actually, but I don't remember the details or anything. It is a sacred <laughs> land where souls go to be purified and reincarnated. You say? Greetings, Jude. What is that? The Spirit Muse. She's Mila's big sis! Hm? What are you doing in our realm? Mila's vanished. Wait, what? Something was amiss with the soul purification process. Or so she said, but I lost contact with her after she used my power to exit the spirit realm. So she's here in the human realm? Indeed, she should be, but I guess you haven't seen her. <laughs> Surely, she would have sought you out if she could. I hope she's all right. I must find her. Mila's gone missing? But how? Hmm. Well, now what? Oh, what's it, Berg? Someone's hunting for scary glasses guy there. Do you mean Marksburg? Please let me come with you. 
This is no field trip we're going on, princess. Shouldn't you stay in school? But, but, if Musee's here in the human realm, the danger level must be off the charts! I want to do whatever I can to help, that's all. Count me in, too. Well, you know, whenever I'm not swamped with work. There's so many of us now. So Exodus is already gone? What was the point of causing all this trouble? I guess causing trouble was the point. That's terrorists for you. That handkerchief you gave me earlier had a really weird smell. It's not weird, it's cologne. An essential part of a gentleman's faux casual grooming routine. Hi, Ho Luger. I'm already on my end. <laughs> Funny how you have to spend time to <laughs> Luger! Glad I ran into you. I've been meaning to give you this. It'll come in super duper handy if you use it right. What is it? It's a family heirloom. My uncle bought it off some home shopping show, but it ended up gathering dust in the closet. What a waste! Am I right? So, family heirloom's just a fancy word for trash? <laughs> I'm sure Luger will put it to good use, though.
Hi there, you've reached the phone of Leia Rolando. I can't answer your call right now, so please leave a message. So, Jude. Is that your girlfriend? No, nothing like that. We're just old friends. I can't seem to get her on the phone. You worried something's wrong? No, she's probably just busy with work, like always. At least, I hope that's all it is. Did you used to play in this park when you were a kid, Luger? Oh, right. Must have been nice. I was an only child. Yes? Dr. Mathis, it's Mary. Those pushy people are skulking around the lab again. The one guy says he has a valuable spirit fossil. He's insisting that you trade him your device for it. What? Did he say anything else? Only that it's from one of the great spirits. Apparently he got it through connections. I'd have Director Balin deal with it, but he's at an investor's meeting right now. With just us here, we don't know what to do. Stonewall him, Mary. You're in Helioborg now? I am. I'll be right there. Don't agree to anything he says, okay? And tell everyone else to do the same. She sure talks loud. Sorry, guess you heard her. I have to go take care of that. That was one of the other Spyrite researchers in Helioborg. She seemed a little worked up. <laughs> Are... are you sure? I'm going to! Thanks. In that case, let's get to Helioborg. Easy. Ease. You copying me? Maybe. <laughs> you guns. I'm getting stronger. Oh, 
Let's break them down with my fists and your. How too easy. That's my girl. Over already? It's tough carrying stuff around all the time. You sure said it. Luger's lucky he has no weight on his shoulders. Uh. <laughs> hey, not bad. That's the look I want. It's manly and pretty cool, right? No, it's not cool. Yeah, you'll never get a girlfriend looking like that. Man, always busting my chops. Guess who just got...
Here you go. The strongest salesman in the world. Hmm, comes off too strong. I can't even make fun of you anymore. Wait, you mean you were before? Alvin's definitely improved his zings, that's for sure. I've got to get stronger. The Spyrite Research Lab is on the 13th floor of the main building.
Come on, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It's win-win. I don't see why you even need to bother Dr. Mathis with this. Look, for the last time, our answer is no! You sure about that? I've heard a few things about this lab, you know. Your research is dead in the water without this, am I wrong? Let's hurry onward. I'm Jude Mathis. Sorry to keep you waiting. How might I help you today? Ah, Dr. Mathis. Just the man I wanted to see. I've got an offer you can't refuse. It's about that device of yours. 
I already told you, it's still undergoing clinical trials. We're not ready to accept any offers. But I hear you've achieved a success rate close to 80% with lesser spirit class spy rights. That's good enough for practical use. Sign an exclusive distribution deal with us and you'll find yourselves on Easy Street. We'll decide when the device is good enough. A 20% failure rate just doesn't cut it. Is that so? You're certainly cavalier about your lack of progress. I know how much money has been sunk into this project. Investors aren't exactly the patient type. <clears throat> of course, I didn't come to a contract negotiation empty-handed. That's a great spirit fossil. Something like that might come in handy for your research. A great spirit? Celsius, perhaps? Yep, the genuine article. Wielded by the leader of Exodus himself. Celsius's fossil sank to the bottom of the sea a year ago, in the ruins of the ESS Zenithra. The Rizamaxian government conducted the salvage operation of the Zenithra. I believe that makes this fossil the property of Rizamaxia. How'd you end up with it? <sighs> you certainly know your stuff, Dr. Mathis. Perhaps it's time for you to leave. I know when I've worn out my welcome. I'll bid farewell for today. But I hope you'll give my proposal some thought. For the sake of your research. Don't forget that. Consider it a gift. Although you didn't get it from me, of course. Catch my drift? Fine, thanks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that guy. Oh no, I'm totally okay. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Mathis. Thanks to all of you. Mary, would you put this in safekeeping for me? I don't know if it really is what he claims, but why take any chances? Of course. I'll inform Dr. Balin as well. Thanks, Mary. Let's go. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this. They're getting less subtle with each attempt. We need to figure out how to deal with these guys. I get where they're coming from, but 
we just need more data before we can begin full-scale implementation. If we could begin testing it with great spirit. No, forget I said that. We can't rush into things unprepared. Given the position that I'm in, I need to stay strong and be focused. Any lack of confidence on my part will shake the faith of the people who believe in the project and the folks funding it. You sure have it rough. I don't like it one bit, you know that? Thanks for your concern, everyone. And don't worry, I'll be okay. This is just something I have to figure out on my own. Thanks for coming along, Luger. It felt good to have some backup. Your Olympian trains certainly are impressive. Before, I could barely tell one train apart from another, but now I've really come to appreciate the majesty of their designs. If you don't whine and pay your fine right on time! Just to be clear, that rhyme was totally not on purpose. I mean, that would be crazy, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
I won't hold back. Oh, we won? That was too easy. Mercy. something good! <laughs> Leave the arc to me! 
That's my girl. Excuse me. Over already? messed up. Well, yeah. Hey, let me shoot the pistol. 
skills. No, it's dangerous. Aw, how come grown-ups get to have all the fun? You don't know fear, kid. That's right. I'm not scared of anything. Um, children shouldn't play with guns. Uh, but you're a kid, too. <sighs> Isn't that right, Luger? Aw, he ran away. Let's be sure to keep this up. Man, I feel I've got to get struck. Salesman in the world. Hmm. If I must. Hey, nice fight. Now I have the strength. Got this. So cool. I want to shoot too. <laughs> 